Hey, what's up, you guys? So today I thought I would do like my February boxy charm unboxing. There goes Angel. <laughs> so for some reason, this month was like freaking massive. Like, I get like the normal boxy charm. It's like not like it's like the lowest level. There's like boxy lux and like something else. Mine's like the standard one, and my box is like huge. I don't know why. Because all the products, like, they could have fit in a smaller box. Like, they could have. Anyways, <laughs> here's what I got in my boxy charm this month. So, first we have the Pure 4 in 1 Correcting Primer. I haven't tried a lot of things from Pure. I think I have, like, a mascara and then, like, something else. I don't know. So, I haven't tried a lot from Pure. So, I don't really know much about the brand or anything so I really have expectations or thoughts on this and then we have first aid beauty facial radiance pads help exfoliate tone and brighten I think I'm really gonna like these because I tone my face like every single day so I'm excited to see like what this is all about I just use um witch hazel and like a few essential oil drops like in the witch hazel and then like I mix it it's like DIY but it works really good I don't know what's in this though so something weird about this month was I didn't get a card in my box like you usually get a card that says like for example it'd be like facial radiance pads and then this many dollars cuz I think they always want to say like oh it's normally this but since you get boxy charm you get this plus all these other things and it's only this price so, anyways, <laughs> um, they didn't send a card, and I looked on Instagram, I, I looked under, like, the hashtag BoxyCharm, a lot of people didn't get cards either, so they, like, sent, like, an email, like, a few days later, and it was like, here's your online information card thing, so I think BoxyCharm realized and was like, oh, crap, and then sent us all <laughs> our online cards, but don't know what happened there. <laughs> Um, but anyways, so this is my second item. And then third, this is from, oh, it's so hard to read. Siate London. And this is the Everyday Vacay Coconut Setting Powder. And oh my gosh, it smells so good. It's like winter right now where I live. I live in New York, so it's like freezing cold. And it's, like, so nice to just, like, kind of smell something summery when it's, like, freezing out. It's like, oh, summer, warm. I wish it was summer. Oh, it smells so good. It's not, like, overpowering, but it's just, like, this light scent of coconut. And, I don't know, it just smells really good. I haven't tried a lot of things from Seattle, London, either. I think I have, like, a blush. Something else. But... I like them. Then I got brushes from Alamar, and I like that they came with these brush guards, because, like, when I dry my brushes, they're, like, and, like, <laughs> going all different directions, because I don't have brush guards. Um, but this one's cool. It's kind of, like, um, like, not just, like, a flat texture, if you can, like, tell. And then this one's just, like, it's, like, slightly angled, I guess. And, I don't know, that one's pretty normal. We have this one. So they're from Alamar, and I guess this this one's a brightening brush. I guess they have names. Complexion brush and bronzer brush. Interesting. So that's cool. Usually I get like, I get Ipsy, and I get a lot of like small brushes. So like, just like eye brushes and stuff. So it's nice because now I have a few more like big brushes like for my face. So that's cool. And then last but not least, this is why it was massive this month. Got a palette. <laughs> if you guys know me, you know I love my palettes. Palettes are like my thing. So this is from Iconic London. It's like so flashy. <laughs> and this is the Day to Slay Eyeshadow Palette. This is what it looks like. It has some really pretty colors in it. Like, I feel like this would be, like, a really good, like, summer palette. Because, like, lots of, like, golds. And I just feel like it's, like, good summery shades. So, again, this is make making me feel like, ah, oh, summer. But it's not summer. It's winter. So, anyways, this is my boxy charm for this month. 
I'll tell you guys like my favorites and whatever. I feel like I haven't tried a lot from any of these brands. Like I don't think I have anything from Iconic London. I have like one thing from Alomar. I have a blush that I know of from Ciate and I think something else. A mascara from Pure, maybe something else. And nothing from First Aid Beauty. So I don't have a lot of expectations like going into trying these things because I don't really know much about the brands. But this is probably what I'm most excited about just because I'm a palette girl. I love my palettes, whether it's eyeshadow or face palettes, but I especially love eyeshadow. So this is probably what I'm most excited about. Second, I'm probably most excited about the brushes just because I hoard brushes and I love brushes and I don't know, I just, I love to pet them. <laughs> and then third, the coconut powder just because it smells good. And then I'm kind of equal between these two things because like primers, like eh, doesn't really interest me that much. Um, this like I guess because these things aren't like creative, like you know, like oh like what can you do with like a toning pad? Just like tone your face. Oh, what do you do for primer? You just put it on your makeup. But like you could do like anything. You could use these brushes to put on anything. You could. Well, this isn't really creative, I guess, but it smells good. <laughs> and then <laughs> this is really creative. So I guess those. That's my thoughts for this month's boxy charm. But like for real, like okay. So I know you gotta put like bubble wrap and like all that stuff. But like this is the like outer carton. You could have fit all these things in like a smaller box, like legit though. Like you could have fit like this and all the things on top of it. Like it would have fit, just saying. But anyways, <laughs> I got a massive box this month. When I like got it, like my mail person like brought it to my door and then like rang the doorbell. And then I was like, oh, gotta go get whatever they dropped off. So I go out and <laughs> look down. It's this giant box. I literally said out loud, what the heck? Like, <laughs> I was shocked by this giant box. But so, but this is pretty cool. This is like huge, which that's cool. They would put this in a box charm because it's like huge. Um, unfortunately, I don't know how much it costs if you were just going to buy this like online somewhere because I don't have the physical card. Um, but this is cool. I think this is, like, a pretty, like, high-end brand, so. So that's awesome. So, if you guys enjoyed, please leave me a big thumbs up. Maybe I'll do, like, a, a look with this palette. I really like, um, this shade. Bellini. I just, I'm drawn to peaches. So. That's my boxy charm for February. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave me a big thumbs up. Comment down below if you get boxy charm and if you got any of these items or if you have any like thoughts on like these items or these brands. I don't really know a bunch about these brands. I've only tried like a few products or none at all from these brands. <laughs> That's like the cool thing about like boxy charm and Ipsy and like subscription boxes. They like introduce you to like new brands that like you might not try just like on your own. And I ended up, like, throughout, like, the years of getting, like, different subscriptions, I've ended up, like, finding new, like, favorite brands and products and stuff. So that's cool. So, <laughs> we'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!